Hey guys, it's Liv and good morning and welcome to Weekly Live number 9 and before you ask, I hear you, where is Weekly Live number 8 and why were there two Weekly Live number 7s? Let me tell you and update you guys. Yes I know I look like a shaggy lion, please ignore it. So, first question, why were there two number 7s? I didn't really explain it that well in the videos because at the time I didn't know it was going to be two videos, I kind of decided halfway through the weekend that it was going to be two. So. Basically, long story short, I decided that I like to have my travel vlogs separate, so I decided to separate them, and because of the fact that we didn't have Wi-Fi at my um, Airbnb, I couldn't edit the videos and upload them there, so what I basically decided to do instead was upload them over the course of the week, which is why there was no beauty video this past week. And by this past week, I mean a week ago because it would have been a video on Wednesday but I mean the previous Wednesday there was no beauty video. It also allowed me to be a little bit more creative with the editing because I think that weekly vlogs like this are just more like chuck all of the clips together um, and just leave it as it is whereas with my travel vlogs if you guys haven't seen it I'll leave it linked off down below. I like to do more like music and like synced editing and it's kind of like a little bit more souped up so I just like, wanted to keep it like that. And if you're wondering where Weekly Live number 8 is, it does not exist. I was going to call this one number 8, but then I was like, I want to keep the names of my weekly vlogs with the months, sorry, the weeks of the year. So this is the ninth month of the year while I'm filming this. So Weekly Live number 8 doesn't exist apart from one clip, which is me unboxing all of that stuff back there. So I'm going to chuck that in now. So if you guys want to see what's in those bags. Here you go. So the first delivery that I have today is from the Generalist PR, and I believe this is from Schwarzkopf. It's such a cute little box. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Great. Fabulous. All right. So, if we have a look. Introducing the new Schwarzkopf Root, root Retoucher. Now, I don't dye my hair, so I may not be the perfect... Um, test it for this but my mum will be and I'm actually doing her hair on Sunday so maybe I'll go and try these out on her but they brought out four new root retouching sprays which is really great if you guys um, have regrowth or if you have grey hairs there is dark brown black dark blonde and brown sorry guys I'm opening one but it's got my address on it so let me uh, get it out first I just remembered what this is as I saw it fall out oh my gosh you guys are going to die I saw these online and I was like I need to buy it <laughs> So this is what I just unboxed. I need to play around with it because it's not sitting right. But this is a hands-free phone holder. Basically, hear me out. I know it seems like I'm being really lazy, but I bought this for when I'm listening to ASMR and I might be like lying in bed and I'm trying to like relax and go to sleep. But holding my phone is, you know, not very relaxing. I know it's like the epitome of like lazy millennials, but I don't even care. It was really cheap. If it doesn't work, I don't care. But I bought it anyway. <laughs> this is the other thing that I got from AliExpress. It's probably quite hard to tell on camera, but they're little wire management um, things for my desk. They just have like a little sticky on the bottom and you just use them to organize your wires so that your desk isn't messy. I was not expecting this one. I haven't seen anything about this perfume. Maybe it arrived today, but it is a new Juicy Couture perfume. It's in a really cute bottle. And there's also a little mask in here and some glitters, which will be good for a photo. Can you see them? So cute. So the new Viva La Juicy is Viva La Juicy Soiree. I was very generously sent a 100ml bottle. So thank you so much Viva La Juicy and Elizabeth Arden. So it looks like it's quite fruity and floral. It looks like it's got a good mix of everything. I'm going to open this and I'll tell you what I think about it next week. But I'm not going to open it right now because I want to take photos of the box and stuff. But ooh, I like the look of it. This is going to be on counters from the 5th of March. And there are the pricings there. Yum, I love Viva La Juicy, it's one of my favourites. And now for the most exciting one, L'Oreal. Yay, let me just take out all of this paperwork. As you can see, there are a bunch of new products. So basically, L'Oreal had an event last week, and it was the day that um, Corpo and I had already had something planned, so I couldn't go. Excuse the fact this isn't beautifully flat laid, I just kind of like put it out so that you guys could see everything. But these are the new products that I was sent. I have a few of their makeup brushes, I have some eyeliners here. These are infallible gel pencils. I have some Kajals, which is nice. These are from the Paradise line. So excited about these. I don't know if this is gonna match me. I don't know if there are any lighter shades, but I'm gonna give this one a go. I'll do a first impressions if you guys wanna see it. I got sent three lipsticks. I really like the look of this one. And the purple's really interesting too. 
Those are the shades there. I know they're all upside down, but there's only in Paris. Hashtag beauty guru. That's a cool one. And then hashtag like a boss. And the new primers, I don't know if I mentioned, there's like a luminizing one and a matte one. Some concealers, as you can tell, that one's probably not going to be my shade. Maybe I could use it to contour. But I've also got the Paradise Mascara, the pomade, and I've got a sponge. So super duper duper excited for this. Thank you so much to the team at L'Oreal for sending me these. I can't wait to create some looks with these, especially this purple eyeliner. So yeah, that is all I got from last week because I decided to take a week off of vlogging. And boy oh boy... Am I glad that I did, because I'm about to update you guys on the massive sh show that has been my life for the past week. Yes, I know I've got blue spots on my face. It's the new L'Oreal Anti-Blemish Mask. I don't know if it's out in New Zealand yet, but I bought it in Australia, and I really like it. It's stuck on all my pimples, but I got distracted doing this before I came back to tell you about my week. So let me tell you about my week. So I got back from Australia, and I worked a day at school. I worked on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday I went into school and I had a really red face and I thought it was to do with my dermatitis Because if you guys saw the Sydney vlogs, I had really intense dermatitis on my eyelids and then really bumpy cheeks Which finally, as you may be able to tell, it is gone I have a tiny bit of bumping left on my cheeks, but I'm going to um, do another face mask Another like moisturizing face mask to hopefully take that down But I'm feeling a lot better in that sense, but I went to, my, went to see my principal just to let her know that I wasn't feeling great and she immediately said that I needed to go see a doctor because I didn't look good and I looked sick, sounded sick, my face was also swollen, my eye was swollen and red and then this eye was like, it wasn't conjunctivitis level sticky in the morning but it was pretty like, you know, overly sleeped up in the morning. So I went to the doctor and she swabbed me for strep throat and said you look like you could have mumps because seeing as you're immunized it might not be as bad because you know traditionally mumps is like the massive mound on the side of your neck because your glands swell up but I had like sore glands and I have a, I've had a sore throat for like ages I'm starting to get worried about it so this may give me a diagnosis otherwise I'm probably gonna have to investigate because it's been sore for ages anyway so I get go and get a blood test to diagnose me for mumps and basically I didn't get diagnosed for mumps um after three days, I called my doctor and she said, oh, we didn't actually test you for mumps. You weren't tested for mumps with your blood test. And I was like, well, then why did I have my blood test? Getting very, very frustrated because I am not allowed to be at work until I've been cleared because they've started the process, you know? They can't be like, oh, no, you don't have mumps because they've started it. They need to finish it. So anyway, she was like, okay, we really need to get you tested again. So I don't know who marked out whether it was the doctor or the nurse or the people at the lab test place, but whoever did it, I'm not angry anymore. I was very angry at the time. I had to go and get another blood test and I'm currently being retested. It takes five days for this result to come back. So I'm not allowed to go to work till Wednesday at the earliest, which means a whole six days off of work that I, you know, that I cannot be at work, which really, really sucks because it's the start of the year. I miss my kidlets. I just want to be at school. Hey guys, as you can see I've got a full face of makeup on. Today's the first day in a while that I've actually felt like myself. Like, I did say that I haven't been feeling that sick while I've been off in my isolation, but I haven't really been feeling that sick, but I've been feeling really down, I've been feeling really sluggish. It's probably all like mental that I'm not feeling that great. I don't know if I'm actually sick. I don't know, I just really feel like I'm not. But anyway, the point is, today's the first day that I've actually felt like somewhat of a human being. So I decided to film a haul video, or not haul video, a swatch video on the L'Oreal Balmain lipsticks that I was sent recently. But I'm down to the last two shades, and then of course my camera dies. My, um, sorry, not my camera didn't die. For once my camera didn't die, but my memory card filled up, so I'm just taking a quick break and I'm gonna take some selfies because I really like this shade. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday morning and it is a little bit later in the morning, it's like 10.30. Um, but I just went to my parents to pick up some packages because, as you guys know, I I'm not able to leave the house, so I can't really do anything, but I went to go pick up packages. Because, you know, what else am I supposed to do? I'm going to try and film a video just because I'm feeling pretty good, so I may as well make the most of my time. I'm also going to take some time today to do some planning and um, start working on reports for my kids, so I'll do that as well. It's been a couple hours since I last filmed, and you said my hair is oily. It's disgusting. 
Please don't remind me. I came on camera now to show you guys an amazing parcel that I was sent from Dermalogica. I haven't opened it yet, but I know what's in it because I've seen everybody post about it. But I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because Dermalogica is seriously my favorite skincare brand that I've ever worked with. Like, my other favorite skincare brand is Drunken Elf or Drunken Elephant? Drunk Elephant. Drunken Elephant. But um, I don't work with them through PR, but I buy a lot of their stuff. But Dermalogica is like my other favorite. I have bought Dermalogica in the past but I'm very lucky to be on their PR list. So I just wanted to say that, um, that I absolutely love their stuff. Please excuse the fact that I just chopped this savagely when I was opening it, but I am pretty excited. I just realized it's got my name on it. Uh, Olivia, inside is the product of your dreams. I'm sure it will be. So it is their new Sound Sleep Cocoon. And I believe it retails at about 100, yeah, 143, and it's gonna be out mid-March. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. I've never actually had an eye mask before but this is super cute. It says transform by night glow by day. It's just like a really nice soft satin. Thank you that's so sweet. I don't really like the smell of um, lavender in products but this smells beautiful. Oh maybe I do like the smell of lavender now. I never used to but now I do. This is so cute. And then the product itself is just down here. What a nice box. The Sound Sleep Cocoon. Transformative Night Gel Cream. Sounds like a bit of me. Let me just crack this bad boy open. It's such an interesting looking product. You just have to like twist it to unlock it and then it's just like, I don't know. Do you guys agree? I feel like this looks really weird in like the best possible way. That's what I love about Dermalogica though is I've got such nice ingredients like Persian Silk Tree Extract, Wuju Yu Extract. All sorts of lovely things in there. Just coming back on here quickly to tell you guys that Hell yeah, I've finally been cleared to go back to work, so tomorrow I'll be going to work. So I'm only gonna have two days of work this week. My, this year I've like, I feel like I've barely been at work. So the first week of term we had a three day week, then I had four days because I went to Sydney, then I had one day, and then this week I have two days and I'll be back to normal next week. Except I have a course on Monday next week. So it's like, oh my gosh it's just crazy and then I just remembered like yesterday that I have to write reports like pretty soon and I haven't even been at school to like test my kids or see what my kids are like hey guys happy hump day I am in the car for a car chat today if you can hear my phone vibrating it's because I finally installed my car phone mount so I've got a phone mount and a camera mount although the camera mount doesn't actually stay mounted at all times so that's a bit different. I feel like before I just said happy Wednesday but it's not Wednesday it's Thursday and I'm finally going back to work you guys I'm so gosh darn excited to go back to work. I yeah so like I said I'm bringing my ex littles back they're finally coming back to school it's like week four of term and they still hadn't come back but it was it's just such a huge effort moving like an 80 litre tank or 60 litre however many litre a lot of a litre tank so I was just kind of taking my time picking my moment to bring them in because I had to empty the tank and clean the tank I'm tired I wasn't really sleeping in while I was off sick I was having maybe like an extra for maybe an extra hour sleep it wasn't like having massive sleep ins or anything like that which was good but I wish I hadn't have had any kind of sleep in because now like waking up at my normal wake up time um, kind of sets me back a little bit because yeah I get up and I'm tired immediately whereas before I kind of like sprung out of bed although I did spring out of bed this morning um, <sighs> I'm just a little bit tired now that I'm actually awake. So I apologize, this vlog has been here, there and everywhere. Right now it is Friday and it's not just Friday, it's Friday evening. So I haven't really been vlogging. Ow. I don't know what has gotten into me the last day and a half of my vlogging but I've been really um, slack. And then puffed out because I had to run down the stairs to get my camera and run back up. And yes, I did run up the stairs, even though, you know, the bruise is gone, but the trauma still remains. I still ran up and down the stairs, as though I'd never slipped and hurt myself. But anyway, um, I've been back at work for two days now. Both days were amazing. I'm so glad to be back. Um, excuse me. I have had dinner. I had leftover nachos from the nachos that we had on Wednesday. My nails are disgusting. What else can I tell you about my life? Corpu and Hazel are at work drinks tonight and I was invited to go but it's in the city so they work in the city so for me to drive to the city 
they had to drive two cars back home and they weren't sure how long they were going to stay at the drinks however now it's like nearly seven so I probably could have gone in but that's alright it is what it is but I'm just enjoying some chill time by myself um, my friend Hannah or our friend Hannah Hannah is coming over pretty soon to hang out just because it's Friday and yeah that's basically the gist of what I'm doing this evening good morning I am making protein pancakes these are Corpus ones and I know they look not great but it's my first time making them this is from the protein bread co and these are my ones mine are uglier um, but I topped them with this from women's best if you saw my unboxing excuse me it's all over my fingers <laughs> but um it's a protein cream and cookies and cream and it's so yum so i can't wait to eat these i've been the worst vlogger today ever but we're having steak tonight one of these is mine one of them is hazel's and then of course corpu gets the gigantic steak and then we're having it with just plain brown rice so i'm boiling some water and yo 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 oh yes this stuff is the she it it's so good if you guys like pepper sauce this is like the poor man's alternative to having to actually make it hey guys so it's that time of the vlog again it's time for me to end the vlog as you can hear i'm really sick <laughs> which is so ironic after having the whole week off being sick and actually not being sick and now i'm sick it's just like really funny to me well not really sick but i've got a cold and i feel extremely congested and i woke up at like 2 30 and couldn't get back to sleep for ages because of the stupid cold so yeah i'm gonna go i love you guys so much thank you for watching hopefully the next time you see me which will be tomorrow I'll start vlogging again tomorrow i won't be quite so congested because i literally sound like i don't even know what i sound awful